Hey, it's Nikia Nichelle with Chicago Tribune, ChicagoNow.com. And I am backstage with Damian Escobar. Now, if you don't know who he is, <laughs> I'm going to let him introduce himself. I'm absolutely nobody. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm he, just this guy that likes playing violin. That's it. You're more than Nothing just this. Nothing more than that. No, you're It more was a hobby that. that people ended up liking. That's it. No, you're more than that. Come on. You would not be performing in front of a room full of people if you were nobody. I can't believe that. I mean, you know, I'm a somebody, um, but, you know, I'm not I'm not bigger than the music. I'll tell you that. You're modest. I'm yeah. saying. Okay. Well, let's let's take a look back at who Damien is. How did you get your start being a professional violinist? Well, I started playing violin when I was eight years old. Okay. I fell in love with the instrument. Uh, it was like love at first sight. Uh, by the time I was 10, I was actually auditioned for a school called Juilliard. Um, I got accepted to Juilliard by the time I was uh, 13. I graduated with my degree in music. Um, and the combination of what I do came about because I living in South Jamaica, Queens, right. hip hop is, you know, it's prevalent. Of course. But I was this young kid where classical was my first hip hop. Um, and that's, that's what I grew up on. I grew up on Bach and I grew up on Vivaldi. My first hip hop record I listened to was DMX and from there I was turned out with hip hop. I'm like, you know what, I want to do that. And then I listened to a lot of other music, a lot of R&B, a lot of soul music. I was just kind of like this young sponge. And um, it's kind of like how my style came about, just a, a hybrid of love and different kinds of music. Well, I um, kind of fell in love with your style by Facebook. Someone wow. had reposted your video and I was like, wow, what a really cool way to, you know, kind of take something classical that yeah. we know and do your own little thing. And so that definitely is what oh, sure. set you set you apart and got you some attention is that you add Com this really kind of edgy style. Yeah, and it's and it's been amazing. Like I've been doing this professionally for like 13 years now. Okay. I spent 10 years with my brother and I've been solo for 4 years now and it's it's just been a blessing. Like when you when you are, you know, you're innovative and you're creating something new, you never know what's going to happen. Of course. You know, especially when you're like the first one to do it. You know, just like, I, who knows? But everybody seems to like it. Yeah, I, I love it. I think you're Thank very you. talented. Um, you did a rendition of, I think it was Adele, or is it Adelaide? I don't know how to say her name. We're going to say Adele. Okay, is it Adele? Yeah, you can't call her Adelaide. Oh, <laughs> I don't really listen. I don't really listen to her music. I'm not going to tell nobody you said okay. that. Okay, please don't. Promise. Okay, Promise. just between me and you. That's but, right. Um, so what like inspired you? I know you said you listened to DMX, but was there anyone that inspired you to play the violin? Like um, at eight? Who I just that? loved it. I mean, I, I would kind of call it like self-inspiration. I, I was exposed to it when I was six. And uh, I was, it was a required school program. And, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't touch it because I was a young kid in, in, in the house. So when it was my turn to take it at eight years old, I, I already made my mind up at six that I'm going to do that forever. So when it was just my turn, I just ran. Man, you like changed the game. I will say that because Appreciate I've it. always wanted to play violin, low key. Low key. Low we key. gonna get her on stage tonight. She, she shouldn't have said that. I'm gonna bring her up. We gonna give her a, a few that. lessons tonight. Don't do that because I was adamant with the music teacher. Like, right. no, I want to play violin. It's cute, right. you know. She said it's cute. It's cute. Oh man, she took all my she took all my my gangster points away. When... No, it's still gangster for you. <laughs> no, I'm not a gangster. Yeah, I'm but a gangster was, violinist. It was cute. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Oh, it's cute. We're going to stay with that. I like cute. It's cute. It was. And then she was like, no. And I don't know if it was because I was tall and she was discriminating against me being tall. But then when I saw you, I was like, it's possible. I could have played the that's violin yeah. back in fourth grade. Hey, but on a serious note, like that's the, I love that, man. Like when I, when there's little kids that look at me of every color mm -hmm. that can look at me and say, wow, it's possible. Right. You know, I, I actually want to grow up and play an instrument. Like. I didn't grow up, a lot of people didn't grow up saying that, like, I want to grow up and be a violinist. So I think it's cool that, you know, we're kind of, you know, changing stereotypes and breaking ground. Yeah, I love that. I think oh, yeah. that is really amazing. Now, who is someone that you haven't gotten to work with or, you know, play the violin for that you would love to? Um, There's so many people. I mean, you name it, this, oh my goodness. A lot of the people I really wanted to perform with, have, they have died, you oh, know, from the Whitney Michael. to the mics. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Prince. Yeah. Um, But there's a lot of cats that's coming up now that I love that I want to work with. Um. This, this, I mean, there's so many. I mean, Alabama Shakes, I love a lot. I'm listening to a lot of Anderson Pack. Um, Kanye, of course. You know, the greats like, you know, Hove, Nas. These are cats I want to work with. Um, I need a baker I want to work with. There's so many people. Like, I'm just opening myself up now to work with a lot of people because I didn't before. It was super important for me to establish myself uh, as an artist first. 
and not just this cat that can play violin that's gonna play background on everybody's record. Right. You know, now I'm established as an artist and as a voice that oh, you, you know. Oh, you sing? No, my violin does. Oh, that. okay. That's like, now you want you want look. I don't want to hear her play violin and she don't want to hear me sing. Okay, <laughs> we 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 can. I thought maybe like that nah, would be really. Dope. I'm known to hold a few notes, okay. but that's second album. We gonna get there. Okay. But I mean, is I'm at the point now in my career where. I'm not, I can do a song with somebody and get a featured artist credit just like singers and rappers can. Okay. I just won't be the guy on the inside that nobody knows on the inside of the album, you know? Right, got so you. So it's cool, it's a cool time. Well, I definitely wanted to talk to you because I feel like people like you are needed. Thank you, wow. Yeah, I mean, to show that you can have something as classical as a violin, a piano or whatever, I think that that element is missing in today's music. So I really gravitated. Fact, yeah to someone like you because I feel like you are someone that's needed. Do you feel like in today's world, what is missing to you in music, the element? Um, I mean, it depends on what, see, I don't listen to regular radio. Me either. At all, so it's like, I, I love where today's music is. I listen to a lot of um, alternative artists. You know, artists whose music wouldn't necessarily be on the radio. And I love it. I love I love what YouTube has done. I love what like Facebook, Instagram. I love what social media has done for music, because it's taking the power out of the corporations who used to tell us, "Hey, this is hot. We have no choice but to like it," and they gave it to the power. It gave the power to the creators, you know. And I just I love where music is right now. Like, you know, 15 years ago, I wouldn't have the opportunity that I have now. I wouldn't be selling out tours as a violinist. I wouldn't. I mean, my on the iTunes charts, I have an album that's number 10 right now on the R&B charts as an instrumentalist ahead of Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. That would never have happened 25 years ago. Right. And it's only happened now because of the internet. So, you know, I love where music is. Like, it's amazing. You know, if we can kind of clean up some of that trash y'all play on the radio. <laughs> we're going to get there. We're taking time. It's going to take some time. It, it's, it takes time. When you start singing and I start playing the violin, I think it'll be there. What she said it here first. <laughs> she said it here first. Now we got to hold her to that. Because I'm going to sing yeah. and she's going to play that violin. I'm going to try. You know? You're going to teach me? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. All right. Definitely. Well, I love where you're going, and I know you got to get on stage soon. Oh, yeah. So I can't keep you, and I know I could do this forever because I love, like, digging in the mindset of people like you. But um, hopefully when you come back to Chicago next time, right? I'll be back in Chicago. Yeah, definitely. Right. We'll do it again. All right, cool. Thank you so much, Damien. Uh, my and, pleasure. Oh, let people know where they can see you. Uh, you guys can see me uh, on Facebook, Instagram, everything, facebook.com slash Damesco, D-A-M-E-E-S-C-O. My website, just go on social media me didn't type that black guy with the violin <laughs> I promise you I'll come up <laughs> I have to know how did you is your last name really Esteban? yeah I'm, I'm Spanish really? Spanish and, and black I should have my dad's Puerto Rican hola de papa huepa oh cool yeah. I was like, okay, that was a good thing to kind of take, you know, Escobar. Shoot. <laughs>